we saw this vehicle come out first and it's got a great exterior design now. The utility vehicle of the year named here in North America was the Hyundai Kona. Yes. And I just did a story on that vehicle for mm -hmm. under $30,000. Lane departure warning technology, front pedestrian detection. It has detection. it all, isn't it? It yeah. has everything in it for yeah. less than $30,000. Uh -huh. And now this is a smaller vehicle than that. Mm -hmm. Let's just start with the inspiration behind the design of this vehicle. Okay. Uh, I think the inspiration behind this vehicle, obviously we started thinking entry level vehicle. Entry level, uh, the, it's actually the, it doesn't have to be cheap, isn't it? Can entry level a vehicle to have a very distinctive character and almost like I'm buying this car because it's so cool. Yeah. That is the whole idea behind it. C come on, I wanna, yeah. I, I wanna make sure as we're talking about it, people still get a chance to see uh, the design of it. Mm -hmm. um, smaller footprint. How much smaller is this than the Kona? Uh, this is actually, uh, the roof is of, uh, about 10 millimeter difference, but footprint is about six inches shorter. So it's actually uh, definitely one segment smaller than the Kona. Kona is, we call this a B-segment SUV, which is really crowded market with a lot of cars. This is why you look at the Kona, it has a very sporty profile, even though it's an SUV character. We almost take this car to have a completely opposite side of it, smaller A segment, why not A segment has a more bolder character around the vehicle. A segment SUV is actually, in a way, for us it's a blue ocean. There's not many at the competition. Why not make an assignment in this segment? So the whole idea is almost like very boxy character uh, with a lot of distinctive uh, um, the look all the way around the front and side and rear. Right. Yeah. So today we did not talk a lot about what to expect from a performance standpoint on this vehicle. Mm -hmm. So this is just me. Yeah. I'm gonna imagine all wheel drive, a bicycle rack on top, yeah. snowboards going to the mountains. I'm not making you say it yet, yeah. but I think that down the road, you're gonna be hitting a real good spot in the marketplace with this vehicle. That will be cool, isn't it? I'm a designer, so I can't really talk about details on the I car, know. obviously. But it, it kind of makes sense in that way, isn't it? Yeah. And I think this this is all about it. It's, it's a really lifestyle-oriented vehicle. And we actually almost like a design feature specifically tailored to our uh, millionaire buyer yeah. who is looking for their first car. Has a lot of character. Uh, technology friendly, the, the mirroring with the 8-inch uh, the screen. So it's, it's all about uh, the millennial, a lot of millennials, they live in the city. The city lifestyle has to suit with this vehicle together. One thing that really strikes me first with the interior of this is without question the target market, and that is the millennial, somebody that's looking to buy their first car. Now, right. statistics came out this week that 55% of all uh, new vehicle buyers in the market are still looking at sedans and 75% of those are actually Generation Z, which are millennials. The interior of this is geared all towards an urban millennial with the touchscreen right in front of you. This, when you look at it, almost like the same philosophy in Sonata over there, it apply over here, which is a very simple clean. Uh, there is no add on a lot of detail, no clutters on the interior design. Very simple, but architecture itself is a, almost like a, uh, the, taking the character of being bold outside to inside of it. And uh, we have a two layer of the IP, so it has a lot of uh, uh, kind of like a lightness uh, by uh, adding two uh, level of IP. Obviously a lot of uh, space, storage space over here and over there, but most importantly, and uh, the smartphone is actually not only important for millennial but also everybody these days isn't it so the focus here over here is a base upon eight inch screen uh the best mirroring the possibility with the car and your phone together so let's talk a little bit about the technology in this uh usb connectivity to power your devices yes. touch screen with navigation and bluetooth technology uh, the ability to connect your smartphone on the interior of this mm -hmm. vehicle. A price point that is going to be sub $20,000 for this vehicle, probably starting into the marketplace. Mm -hmm. When is this going to come to market? Uh, it's going to be hit the market end of this year. End of this year. Yeah. If I had to take the Sonata and the Venue and say, saying, yep, you're the designer. There's always one thing that you you love <laughs> the most about a vehicle. Yeah. With the Sonata, what's the, the first thing that you love the most about designing it? 
This is very difficult question, obviously, but I must say that uh, we're actually this um, adding a lot of sensuous character into the Sonata, which is very important. As far as the feature goes, I'm so proud of how DRL headlamp turned out because this is something else you've never seen it before. And then with the venue. Venue is actually its own character. It's a very, very special because this character is something you don't see in the market, obviously. It's an A-segment SUV, which you don't see a lot anyway. It's a distinctive character, very boxy character, almost like a very, very bold character. It will stand out by itself.